בוקר טוב רבותיי, בוקר טוב. בעזרת השם, בספר פי חיים פיתו מהקדוש ברוך הוא, give everyone big ברכה, אין הצלחה, בסייעתא דשמיא גדולה, throughout the entire day, אמן קנייה צור. בנו רבותיי, now we're all preparing ourselves for ראש שנה, we're all getting ready בעזרת השם to be judged for a year full of ברכות. בנו רבותיי, there's something that is very important. We need to all hold on to and be very, very strict and take upon ourselves for the year to come. And what are we speaking about now? I'm speaking about Abotai Limud Torah. You know, Abotai, there's a story of a student, of a Rebbe Mikalim, that came to the Rebbe, and he asked from the Rebbe advice. He needed help. He said, you know, whenever I sit down and I study Torah, and I'm with my books, I feel a happiness, I feel a light, I feel a joy, I feel such a shefa. But the moment I get up and I leave my books, I feel like I am dark, I feel like I am, I am cut out from that light, I am cut out from that bracha. So Abu Mikalim gave him an answer on what it's like the way he's living. He said, you know, it's like now a man that is walking in the city at night, and at that time, it's not today where we have lights. What's, how does the city look at night? It is dark. And suddenly he sees from far a man that he has a candle in his hand. So Baruch Hashim, he goes close to this man that has a candle in his hand. And as long as he's close to this man, what does he have? More light. He has light. He's able to see, he's able to walk, he knows where he's going. But the Rami Kalim said, but what happens when both of these people have to split? When one has to go one direction, the other one has to go the other. The moment you get to that point, what happens? You go your way, I go my way, and the man that now is uh, with no candle is even in a worse position. Why? Because before he knew where he was. Now he's in the middle of the city, the city deeper in the city, and he's lost, black. That is exactly what it is, and this is what the Rebbe said. When you come to the yeshiva and you rely on the Rav, when you rely on the Bet Midrash in order for you to keep that light. That actually a person needs to carry his own light with him at all times. A person needs to hold with him his Limut Torah, he needs to hold that light that guides him through life. And that about that is something that is very important. That is a mitzvah, what is called Likvoa Etim La Torah. And what does that mean in translation? To take a time in a day and we devote a specific time, even two minutes in a day, or an hour a day, or 20 minutes a day, it doesn't matter. But every single day, when we have that time of kviat etim la Torah, it is like a man that is carrying a candle and walking in the light. And he is not needed to rely on someone else's candle. It is his. You know, Abotai, the Zohar Kadush says that the Torah, how do we call the Torah? We call the Torah. Etz Chaim. But actually, we know that there are two trees. We have the tree of knowledge in the Zohar, and then we have the tree of Chaim, the tree of life. The tree of Chaim is where all the Bracha comes from, all the Nishamot come from. But what does the Zohar Kadosh consider a person? How can one connect himself to the tree of life? So the Zohar Kadosh says, hold on to the Torah, and you will hold from the tree of life. And that's what we said. Etz Chaim Vela Machazikim Ba. The tree of life and those who hold the tree of life. Who are those who hold the tree of life? Those who hold a peace in the Torah. Those who have a time in every day where they devote for Limud Torah. You know, Botai, today is Tuesday. What, what uh, Sefirah is on Tuesday? No, Botai. Tiferet. Tiferet. Which we know, Tiferet is the forefather of Yaakov. Titanimet Yaakov. The emet, the truth, is with Yaakov. What is the truth? The truth is Torah. That there is no more pure truth than Torah. Or Yaakov Tam Yushav Alim. That Yaakov represents what? Represents the Torah. We know what the Zohar Kadosh says that the Tiferet is very unique to the way that it is as a Sifira. Because all those other Sifirot, we connect to it and we pull down blessing. Tiferet, we awake. But actually, when one awakens the Tiferet, what happens? The Zohar Kadosh says, Akadosh Baruch himself. Where is the Tiferet like a jacket? And the Tiferet comes down to the world and blesses that person on a personal level. That it is not like all the other Sefirot we connect to and we draw down, pull down a string of blessing, but we awaken the entire Sefirot. How do we awaken Rabotai the Sefirot of Tiferet? Only by 
Limut Torah. Only by study of Torah. Now you know about that, a lot of people, they could come. They could say, you know, I don't have time. I'm very busy. I'm a, I have a very, very a, a, a tight schedule. I don't have time to sit down and study Torah. You don't have time to study Torah? Make sure someone else studies Torah. Because if you go out of your way and you make sure that somebody else is studying Torah, even if you're not studying Torah, that merit of Limut Torah, that clock is running. You know, Botai, every day, Baruch Hashem, we do this, these daily sparks, Baruch Hashem. We encourage and we want everyone to pass on these daily sparks, not just to who we are in the groups or, 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 or this group here, but further and further and further. Those who will spread Torah on the day of Tiferet, the Tiferet himself will bless that man and pour on him big shefa. So may HaKadosh Baruch give us big bracha b'atzlacha and may the merit of all the tzaddikim protect us and give us a day that we remember for, for big blessings. Amen. Amen.